All right, so just a quick update. Uh, probably won't have time for any more this week as uh, business uh, is going to have to uh, take precedence. Um, but what have we done so far now? Uh, well, we have uh, connected an RCD spur uh, to the mains and uh, those two black wires. One is coming from the uh, thermostats, you know, the room controller, which is on the other side there. And the other one is going through the wall and that runs down onto our north facing uh, front wall. And that's where the FW100 exterior sensor uh, is going to be fitted. Uh, we've lifted the boiler, whoops, lifted the boiler up into position. And uh, I'm just going to have to straighten that light. I just kicked it over. So yeah, we've lifted the boiler uh, into position. All pretty straightforward. Uh, the only thing you've got to remember is um, where the manifold is. You have uh, fibre washers to put on to these connections in there before you lift the, the boiler into place. And yes, I forgot and uh, had to lift the boiler off to uh, put the fibre washers in place um, and then lift it back on again. Uh, so I've just temporarily positioned the uh, condensense shore uh, bottle there because there's uh, a couple of brackets that need to be screwed to the wall. Um, so it will come out of the uh, condensen condensation uh, port there and uh, through there, as you can see, it's connected or it's pushed over the heating, the, the radiator heating uh, send pipe. So that keeps the uh, condensate you know, nice and warm. And uh, when it ejects it, it will come out of there. It will go straight down the wall and, uh, and then through the wall there uh, as it's built up some speed. And then it will go into the uh, condensate trap uh, which uh, we've got to dig the hole for still, uh, which is uh, that there, if you recall probably from the parts videos we did, and then that will be surrounded with the limestone chippings. Um, so yeah, the control panel is here, just clicks into place with that, and uh, you've got the main parts of the boiler there. You can see the expansion vessel. Uh, that's the heat exchanger. There's a little window for viewing the flame just in there. And uh, there's a point here for adjusting the gas. Of course you don't touch any of that. That's all down to the gas safe registered engineer to sort out. A, uh, well they call it a modulating pump here, that, uh, that Bosch. But it's a uh, you know, sort of central heating pump. Uh, various other uh, overheat uh, protection device there. Uh, lots of other sensors as you'd expect. Um, the flue will be there and straight out. And uh, yeah, that's about it really. Uh, so yeah, just an update. Uh, just the wiring to do really and uh, I suspect then I'm going to have to leave it for at least a few days and uh, I'm hoping to get the um, Condensense uh, Shore uh, part fitted uh, That was all of the earth clamping I uh, talked about the other day. I think that looks quite uh, quite neat so I've run that through out to the gas pipe, which then has its own earth connection straight back to the uh, consumer unit. Uh, just some flush uh, fluid and some inhibitor to buy at some point. And uh, yeah, we're pretty close to being ready to fill this up and uh, flush it through. Uh, and then uh, Get the guys out to uh, connect the gas properly and check it and hopefully we'll be uh, good to go well at least within the next week or two hopefully anyway just a quick update uh, on what's going on